Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron, the bookquester. Today, I'll introduce you to this great funny book. Is you trot by Roald Dahl, the greatest storyteller ever lived himself, illustrated by Quentin Blake, like always. Well, let's talk about this jolly story. First of all, there is a man named Mr. Hoppy who lives in a tiny apartment and has many, many plants. And she has a crush on Mrs. Silver who lives uh, lives in our apartment right below him. She ta- He talks to Mr. Silver and Mrs. Silver um, sometimes and sometimes over the balcony, a polite conversation, and Mr. Hoppy is a bit shy, so she cannot pronounce his feelings to Mrs. Silver. I, they're quite old, actually. And, and you, and, and, and then Miss Silver, um, openly comments that she hopes that, that her torturous pet, Elsie, would would grow a bit larger and and an idea sprung upon the great clever mr hoppy's hat head he says that if mrs and if mrs silver uh, recites this spell magic these magic magical words to the torturous um the, it'll uh, it'll make the torturous grow and become really, really large. And uh, this is the magical spell. It is actually a. R- and he o- he also says that torturous's language is actually the exact reverse of ours. So this says Azio trot, Azio trot. That's torturous, torturous only, just backwards. Tegra gib, tegra big, get bigger, get bigger. Come, imok no, Azio trot. Come on, torturous. Grow a a work poo, flop poo, tooth poo. Grow up, puff up, shoot up, and so on. And well, it's a very clever scheme. He buys. Many, many, many torturances, enough to fill his whole living room. And then he makes a little device, a grabby hand, if you please, and he use and he uses this to exchange the grabby hand to exchange the first, the the original LC with a slightly bigger one and he does this for weeks and weeks and then and then elf elfie no longer fits in his house and then she says that can't you make it a bit smaller so he can well the torturers can fit his house well then well and then um Mr. Hoppy gave Mrs. Silver a different spell. This time, the reverse edition that says, um, get a bit smaller. And she, uh, in reverse language, of course. And then she does the same, same thing again. And him and Mrs. Silver live happily ever after. Much well written, like any jolly Roald Dahl book. And like always, your book cluster and the book cluster. A delightful read. Again and again, you read it, you never get bored of it. I assure you.